It is another beautiful day here in Florida. We are up early because we are faced with a situation. Guys, you wouldn't believe this. I lost my license. And there's nothing worse than losing your license in a state that you don't live in. So we are forced now to drive six, 16 and a half hours back to Ohio. The reason why I say drive, because I can't get on a plane without a license. So we got to drive back to Ohio just to get license. On top of that, we got to take the tour hauler back to Ohio. But here's the catch. The toy hauler do not have plates. <laughs> oh man. So we're up early because we got to go to Walmart. I got to go backtrack all the places I have been and try to find these licenses. Because if I find these licenses, instead of leaving out tomorrow, we can leave out like Wednesday. We can fly out get tags for the for the um, trailer then return so pray for me guys pray for me if not we're gonna have a long 16 and a half no, hours we'll just get the tags and put it in my name and then just drive from there that's what we're gonna do it makes easier uh, uh, okay you know, it makes life easier we still gotta drive that's the whole point driving you, know, you just don't get caught. Listen, you, I, I, no, I said we still got to drive. You said we just get tags in my name and drive from there. No, I said we're going to put the tags in okay. my name for the trailer. Okay. And if you get caught, all they got to do is get, run your name through and they'll see that you have a valid driver's get license. Get caught what? I wouldn't get caught. Okay, so why are you worried? You'll be fine. are taking the van and the toy hauler back home we will be back within a week I did not have any luck when it came to trying to get a tag for this trailer so I am forced to drive it back with no tags because the title bureau wanted us well the license what well, tax bureau that's what they call them down here they wanted us to I didn't have my license I lost my license so I'm forced to drive back without tags on that, but hope for the best. So we will be back within a week's time. After driving nine hours yesterday, we finally took a break, stayed at this hotel, this beautiful hotel, um, showered, ate breakfast, now we back up at it. Seven hours to go. I'm not tired, I'm well rested, and I'm ready to do it. I'm actually start, I'm starting to like driving. To be honest with you because um, yesterday Shanti did not drive at all I didn't ask her I didn't really need her to help so being behind that wheel I'm it's like I'm in control but anyway everything is uh ready today when I came outside I noticed something hanging from my van look like one of my belts is starting to break I pray and we're able to make it home safely and this belt do not break on us um, seven seven more hours but I am putting the van in the shop tomorrow I got to get it checked out so nothing serious 
but I just want to get it checked out and make sure this van is going to be able to make it. I like to take care of my vehicles. Time to go. Welcome to Virginia. trip back home we are headed back to Florida we enjoyed our trip we had so much to take care of while we was here I was able to winterize the boat I was able to get a new license um, what else I got done I took care of a lot of stuff about to leave already packed again come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for That's the plane we just got off of I O. What's up? <laughs> Guys, just like that, we are back in Florida. We went home, which is in Ohio. Stayed in Ohio for a whole entire week. But a lot of the days that we was in Ohio, we did not get out and do anything. Two of the days, we stayed in the house, which is Saturday and Sunday. We stayed in the house the whole entire day. I mean, it was so cold there. It felt good to be back here in Florida. No no long sleeves on, no jacket on. Yes, it is a little gloomy, as you can see. But it's still warm. What I want to show you guys, for you plant lovers, I want to show you guys what I've been doing with this plant before Ashanti try to come over and claim that she's doing it. Look at the firecracker. Never have I seen this firecracker plant with so many red pellets on it. Look at that. I did better than my mom. She ain't gonna like to hear that, but I did better than my mom. She only had a few on there. I grew them all out. Well, I killed them at first. <laughs> I did kill them by keeping them in the sunlight, but they're back. The plants are thriving. We left them here unattended for a whole week. Everything looking good. This plant here has grown. Look at this. That's grown. This is how our campsite look. But anyway, we're going to try to do some cooking today. We want to come back. We want to cook. Because we have not been cooking since we've been back in Ohio. Um, we went back to Ohio because I lost my driver's license. So we had to drive 16 and a half hours back. We took the van back and we took the toy hauler back. So we left both of those um, van and toy hauler in Ohio. And we're just back here with the truck. The good thing about it though, as we get things, cause we tend to order a lot of stuff. We, and we take a lot of stuff back, stuff that we shouldn't be ordering, but we get settled and we like to order off of Amazon. We got a shed back there to keep it in. So, Somehow we we order a lot of stuff. I figure out a way. Hello. I figure out a way to get it back somehow. Anyway, 
It feel good to be back. Now it's time to go dump this trash. All right, so as you know, I love farmers markets. I love the, the, um, People that come to the parks and they decide to go ahead and sell their products. So I call them the mom and the pops. Vegetable fruit stands that come. So I am uh, always trying to buy something at least on a weekly basis. And use those fresh vegetables to go into my soups or my delicious uh, home cooked meals. Right? So we're gonna go uh, see what the guy has and see what type of deals we can get. So, and it is a convenience just to have someone, you know, come on the campground um, and be able to service everyone like that. I think it's a fabulous idea. So I'm looking for watermelon, some onions, cucumbers, so I can make a cucumber salad with some tomatoes and I wouldn't mind some sweet potatoes and all that other good stuff, but nothing beats fresh vegetables and uh, fruits and all that. So, take you along with us. So, I got here, picked out my stuff, and just that quick, almost forgot to show you, but this fine gentleman right here he comes and he is bringing us some good fruits and vegetables and what did I pick I'll have to show you definitely got a watermelon so watermelon I got some sweet corn and some sweet potatoes right there and then I got another bag of goodies I got my tomatoes, cucumbers. So now I'm gonna go and we're gonna make something up with these and uh, eat good and feel good about supporting the mom and pops. So, and when I say the mom and pops, the mom and pops grocery stores. So here you go, resort living. Uh, we got we got trapped in again oh here we go Ugh. gotta get this other package so this is our rail that we had to end up buying because Talmadge forgot to fold that in when he uh broke down the outside of the camper see it's always something but you can always buy something else and get it all fixed up there you go That's our view. It's a cloudy, rainy day. I am up early. I'm forced to get up early. Thought I could sleep in today, but I can't sleep in because we have no electric. I know we don't have any electric, it is because our inverter is beeping. So that tells me that our battery is dead. And I got to figure out what's going on with this pedal still. I think, I believe that the fuse is bad. Because I find myself getting up every morning. And switching, turning on and off the fuse to get the RV power to work. So, 
Look how it look out here, guys. We got the pool in the back. I see raindrops hitting the going in the water. You know, hit inside the pool when raindrops. And what's so crazy about this? We are supposed to be going live today. <laughs> We are supposed to be going live doing our morning coffee. So I don't know how this is gonna work out. Cause I'm not taking my laptops outside and be forced to run in because because it started to rain. It's been like this ever since we got back. We just got back from Ohio. We had to run to Ohio to take care of business but first before I get this vlog started this morning let me go out here and change this see what's going on with this pedestal see if I can trigger everything back on Alexa Alexa tell you right there something going on she always answers me we're gonna take a brief intermission from the video and we are gonna talk about Brooklyn bedding yes 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 Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding, for sponsoring this video. We do appreciate the fact that you have thought about us RV owners on making a quality luxury mattress for us to sleep on when we're camping. So let me tell you something about Brooklyn Bedding. Brooklyn Bedding has been around for many, many years, and they are one of the top manufacturers that make their product here in the USA. Not only is it manufactured in the USA, it's shipped free to us RVers in the USA. Cannot beat that. That is great deal right there. Also, they have a promo code. It'll be in the description box below. And if you use that promo code, go online and look at all of the different accessories, the different types of mattresses that you can get, such as soft, medium, or firm. And if you are deciding to get the cool gel topping, which is the mattress pad, which I highly recommend. And if you are looking for some sheets, also order the bamboo sheets with the thick ribbing around it. You will not be disappointed whatsoever. So what I like about Brooklyn bedding is that it has prevented night sweats for me. What Talmadge has liked about it is he does not wake up with neck or back pains anymore. And the other thing that we like about Brooklyn Bedding is that their mattress is well made. It doesn't have that sagging uh, in the middle like a lot of mattresses. And if you don't know, that is a telltale sign that you need to replace your mattress, especially if it's sagging in the middle. So BrooklynBedding.com has not only exceptional customer service, but they back up their product. And that says a lot. On to the show again. Thanks again, Brooklyn Bedding. Hmm. It's gloomy out here, guys. It's not so sunny in Florida. It haven't been sunny in Florida for the past two weeks. It's been gloomy, it's been raining. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's see if I can get this electric electricity back working. Heard it click on. You hear that, guys? You hear that? That's the fans. The fans just turned on. Alexa, if you like nut buddy, Alexa is back online. You can see that we had put everything up. We put the rugs up, we put the TVs up. I mean, everything has been put up. It's how bad it's been raining. See all the dirt from the plant. 
flower pots been filling up. I mean, this is what full time camping feels like, huh? We don't know that because we're not full time campers. We're weekend warriors, but we're full time. I, I can't say we are full time during the winter months, but this is what you go through being a full time camper or feel more like a seasonal camper. So I'm gonna get this site together, put all the chairs out, bring it back to life, and we gonna go from there. And I still gotta get dressed for the life. Alexa, stop. So guys, we're about to go live. How many minutes do we have left? Um, four more minutes. Four more minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Shanti, the camera's that way. Yeah, I know. You but gotta... it's too much sunlight. Huh? It's, it's so you're going to be turned that way. It's a lot of light. It, we, we probably won't even be able to use that. No, I'm using that. the camera in the sun. And it should huh? be away from the sun. No, That's the sun is over there. All the right. camera is this way. I know. Hmm? How much? I see. Huh. Okay. You'll see. Okay. It's too light. We did it this this way before. Okay. It wasn't that sunny. That looked perfect. You got your back to the camera. And you should be looking at it. Guys, you see what we go through behind the scenes? She got her back to the camera. This is my... Well, I'm going to control everything here. Guys, we are done with the Saturday morning coffee. It's time to put everything up. I made French roast coffee in the morning coffee. It was pretty good. Still got a little left. I'm killing this cup. We gave away an iHood heated vest in this live. Time to pack up and find something to get into today. Anyway, these bugs are out. Already a fly trying to get in my coffee. What they do to these lots here. What this going to be? I'm going to record this. It's a, it's a, patio. a patio? A screen? Foot by 12, yeah. by 12 by 40. Okay. And then from a foot from that walkway, uh -huh. there's an 8 foot counter that has a TV, sound bar, fireplace. Nice. That's going to be and nice. 8 foot counter that has a buffet. Uh huh. Wow. With, uh, 8 plugs, so it has for crock pots and stuff. Yep. That's all the wires going around. Are you doing this? Yeah. Really? Nice. And it's got a, a 2 4 foot cabinet for decorations and uh -huh. an eight foot by five foot bar yeah okay no, like liquor cabinets yeah and then a full kitchen is convection oven microwave wine fridge ice maker blender station and then a four foot by 16 foot l-shaped nice. bar wow nice. and nice. so they call them casitas well but no this is that a no casita. That's yeah a casita. that's a party zone this, this is a party zone, zone huh <laughs> this is where all this all this is what where everybody section, gonna be hanging at? Huh? We're, we're over there on the, the Regal. I yeah. Think. Regal Point? Yeah. Regal Ridge. Yeah. Regal Ridge, I think. Uh, so this we're, section we're up here has yeah. different areas. This is yeah. uh, this part of the our, our Regal Point is called Liquor Still Hill. Oh, wow. Oh. So, okay. Nice. Guess, Thank you. So you guys are the party animals. See, that's why it's called Liquor Still Hill. Liquor Still Hill. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Uh, nice. So we'll have a full bar, kitchen. Uh, yeah. yeah, little lizard. Them bad boys be hanging out they all day long. Huh? Yeah, they just come in the sun. <laughs> and he bold too. He ain't running from nobody. <laughs> this park, this park got all those little lizards running around. Guess some of them, some of them got long tails, and some of them got curly tails like this. Hello. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Uh, this is just a little extra. This is Randy. 
This is Randy. Say hello, Randy. Hi. <laughs> it's gonna be on our YouTube channel. So, oh, we got this a little. This is my garage for my golf cart. Okay, nice. you use it like a little utility room. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. And here is a, you know, I got stairs. This Randy morning. has a upstairs and a downstairs this here. This morning there was a yard sale, so everything in the uh, left. Uh, so you got what two rooms? You got a room downstairs and a room upstairs. Yeah. You can put this on a two level. Airbnb. Two level. Oh look at that view, guys. Uh -oh. Look at that view. You see, this? that's the golf course over there. So he can sit up here and watch the golf. Oh, there's a nice breeze that's coming in here. Nice. We got up here and we get our. That is beautiful. So. Oh, wow. This so is nice. You can nice. still enjoy it even when yeah. it's raining. Yeah. I think that's nice. That's nice. You got the golf course. You can mm -hmm. sit out here yeah, in the evening. We have supper here. And yeah. Some and there stuff. is a lot of bugs in here in Florida. Yes. Yeah, but we. This we, here. Yeah, sit up here. You got to worry about nothing. Yeah. This, this is, is nice. This bedroom here, but clothes, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's a bedroom off of this. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Huge one, you know. And uh, so that's a little. Like a kitchen? No. Oh. The kitchen is downstairs. That's a. Uh, I'll show you. Okay. okay. This is cool, Randy. Hmm. And he has other lots here. So if you guys are interested in renting a lot, you'll have to. No, he's not renting his... no lot. But he has two lots. They could possibly rent. But he got them rented already. Yeah. So Jump people buy the multiple lots here <laughs> and they rent them out. Motorhome. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's nice and breezy here, it's too. Like, uh, Florida, you know? okay. okay. This is nice. nice. Very nice. There's motorhome here. So do you stay in the motorhome mostly? When you're here? Both places, the house and the motorhome. Uh-huh. Yeah. But when you're here, do, where you stay in the house or you stay in the motorhome? Well, I stay in the house. You oh, stay in the okay. house? Okay. And this is my kitchen here. And this oh, thing. nice. It's, you know, Hello. Hi. That's the stairs. That's going up. So that stairs go up to that bedroom that yeah. you just showed yeah. us. Nice. 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 You have That's a nice cool. property. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. That is cool. This is a like a room if you want to sit down and relax. Uh huh. You know, sit in a casita. But everybody has different levels of casita. Yeah. This is like a. a See how they do it here, guys. Level. Wow. This is super nice. You got a TV. Oh, got wow. Screen room here. Wow. You could even have someone like come and stay. And they yeah. can stay in this room. This is a bad dissolve. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it's all uh, heated floors. and. Oh, wow. Oh, she did a good job. Oh, so great. you bought this like this? Yeah. Wow. She did good. Popcorn machine over there. Yeah, this is the entertainment room. You can play your games and everything here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got kids? Uh, my kids are all grown. I got two grandkids in Cape Cod. Oh. Nice. No, but just. Mm -hmm. Just you and her, huh? Yeah. Aww. This is nice. Very, very nice. Thank you, you for showing us everything. It's just, it wouldn't be a, a video without being able to show you the laundry room on site pretty clean has library let's see how much it costs to 225 let's check out the bathroom pretty nice nice and clean I like it restroom toilet area These connections shed light on the consistency of the divine purpose through scripture. God raises up faith in those the world neglects. A nice and it's dead. So guys, we're about to get this cooking on. Trying to cook. I usually get the grill going. I'm trying not to focus on football. Instead, get the grill going where we can eat. we are back using our red egg um, we both like cooking on this egg 
I have been enjoying it. The food cooked very evenly. So, can't wait. Today we are making steak and lamb. Steak and lamb. All right, right now we got on some corn, some potatoes. Oh, it smells so good. Fresh corn at that. We just got this from the marketplace. Open this up and get it going. The first time this word curse, God used it. He's saying, I. The rain has came back. This is Florida for you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making this video. Uh, big shout out to all our channel members. Thank you for being a continued supporter of this channel. Thank you very much. Um, big shout out to Brooklyn Betty. Guys, this is one of our sponsors. They have been rocking with us for the past couple of years. Thank you so much for being a sponsor of your Adventure Bandits. Um, guys, if you're in the market for a bed, pillows, anything that has to do with bedding, please consider them. Their link is in the description. And guys, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And, for, and if you like this channel, if you like what you've seen on this video, hit that like button. Shout out to everyone who's been rocking with us as well, who's been following our channels and following our adventures. Thank you for being here. And guys, on that note, Bandits out.